high blood sugar levels can damage a person's nerves over time. Neuropathy is a problem a lot of people with diabetes deal with in South Texas, and TSAOG's newest pain management physician is here to tell us more, Dr. Patrick Ahern. Yeah, All how's right. it going? So people with diabetes often experience pain and numbness in their feet. Why is that? They do. Um, you know, this is a disease that commonly affects more than 10% of the right. population. So odds are you and I both know someone who's affected by it, whether they're diagnosed already or not. Pre-diabetic, right. Exactly, Somebody. exactly. And so the feet, you know, diabetes, it has an issue where it affects your nerves. Uh, Come with the nerve cells where it causes inflammation, damage, and your feet are typically the first things that you see um, where that's affected. And so they can have debilitating pain too, right? Yeah, so typically the effects they'll see are things like burning pain, uh, tingling, numbness, uh, pins and needles sensation, uh, and then eventually they'll just lose all sensation in their feet. And so what kind of therapy is there for people with diabetic neuropathy? Yeah, so you know, it's a good question. You know, typically, you know, the best advice would say lifestyle modification. So diet, exercise, but most of the time people that get diagnosed, they already are having this peripheral neuropathy, the, the pain in their feet. And so what doctors will do is they'll start patients on a couple of medications. Typically those are ones you take up to a couple of times a day. Um, newer uh, newer ther therapies that are coming out, things like spinal cord stimulation, mm -hmm. have been shown to be pretty effective in helping this as well. And so how does that therapy work, the spinal cord? Yeah, so, you know, uh, like the way I like to discuss mm -hmm. it is when you knock your hand against the wall, mm -hmm. it hurts, you start rubbing it, it feels better. Why is that? Your body is actually kind of ignoring the pain signals and sensing the other sensations going on. So that's what spinal cord stimulation therapy does, is it essentially blocks the pain signals and allowing just a, a non-noxious uh, uh, stimulation. And so why would someone choose this treatment over traditional options? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of reasons. One. You know, a lot of people don't like taking medications. Right. They have side effects, although they're very good at helping with the symptoms. Um, typical side effects that you'd have with these medications are things like drowsiness, brain fog, um, and people just don't want to feel that. Another thing is these medications don't last all day. Uh, so a lot of people wake up in the middle of the night in pain, right. whereas the spinal cord stimulator therapy, it's going to be working all the time. Um, and lastly, you know, you're not going to be having to go to the doctor as often if you don't take your medication refills. You don't have to go to the pharmacy. You're not going to, to be taking this medication. It kind of just frees you up to enjoy your life. And so how can folks know if spinal cord stimulation would be right for them? Uh, you know, we uh, at TSAOG, uh, we're pretty good at sensing out, seeing the patients, seeing who would be a good candidate. Before we go ahead and put uh, the actual implanted device in, we actually do a trial period, about five to seven days where we try, we see how it works for you. If it works, great, we can go ahead and pursue it. If not, uh, no harm done. Okay, all right, so TSAOG is your one-stop shop for all your orthopedic needs from diagnosis to recovery, and they have eight locations in the San Antonio area. And Dr. Patrick Ahern is available at the Ridgewood and New Braunfels clinics. You can book your appointment by calling 210 804-5400, that's 804-5400, or visit the website, tsaog.com. Doctor, once again, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.